Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'll be doing a review of the Skulltech knuckle gel pads, so stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junky rhythms right. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. Today I'll be doing a review of the Skulltech Gel Knuckle Pad. As you can see here, it is a protective pad that goes over your knuckle, very similar to the Winnie NG2 um, and some of the other brands like Ringside that have come out with a gel style um, hand wrap or knuckle pad that offers protection. Um, with that being said, these are probably the best knuckle pads I've used. It's a fantastic design, very simplistic, but it's very effective. And to give you guys a little bit of back history on Skulltech, it was founded by Bob Ferguson. And their initial product was an actual skull cap uh, that was made out of this proprietary gel material um, that was mainly used to wrap around your head uh, for contact sports like football, hockey, baseball, or any kind of contact sport that required for you to wear a helmet. And you would wrap it around your head, you put the helmet on, and it would reduce the G-forces by 43%, so almost half um, the shock of getting hit in a combat or a contact sport. Um, so <clears throat> with that being said, if you know anything about injuries or long-term effects of getting hit in the head or getting uh, hit in a contact sport, um, you know that is associated with CTE and other brain injuries later down the road that we'd like to avoid. So I applaud Skulltech for coming out with this innovative product that really helps reduce the G-forces. Um, you can see it, it comes in a simplistic packaging. The product is $24.99, so $25. It comes in two sizes. You can get it in an eighth of an inch, uh, eighth of an inch, which is, comes in an orange gel padding, or you can get the quarter inch version, which I got here, which comes in this green uh, color that I have of gel. So you have about a quarter inch of gel right there. It comes with two of these, so one for each hand. And again, the main purpose of this is to protect uh, your knuckles and your hands. Um, each pad weighs about two to two and a half ounces. You can see it kind of has a clear translucent look to it. It's very soft, um, you know, very dense. You can tell that um, this takes a lot of punishment as far as being able to absorb impact. And I believe there's actually videos on YouTube, you can check it out, uh, of people dropping things on this padding and just to show you how, how good of a job this does at protecting what's behind it. So um, again, quarter inch of gel. Um, the edges of the gel kind of has almost a little bit of a sticky feel to it, but over time of just kind of rubbing against uh, you know, your clothing or other things, this kind of dulls out and it doesn't feel as sticky. It has that Skulltech logo on here. Now there's two ways you can wear it, depending on the level of protection that you need. If you just want maximum protection, a lot of guys will fold this over um, and basically make a half inch layer of gel padding. Uh, for, this is also very easy to cut. Uh, for myself, I prefer to actually cut it and give myself that quarter inch layer of protection. I don't need that much because the gloves themselves already have a lot of foam on the inside for the knuckles. So one thing to keep in mind when you do get this, it will add a little bit of bulk, <clears throat> a little bit of bulk to your knuckle area. Um, so if you have a lot um, more compact gloves, especially in the hand compartment, this will add bulk to that. So keep that in mind even when you wrap your hands, that your wrist area will be fine as usual. But once you start tapering up to the knuckle area, if you're using the full sheet of gel padding, it will be bulkier and you will have to break it in a little bit as far as the gloves go from the gel constantly moving inside of the, the glove itself, um, you'll have to break that in. So you might have a little bit of initial discomfort just because the gloves will feel really tight. But for myself, I use, grab them real quick, a piece that I cut right here. Not the best job of cutting. I probably could have cut, cut down a little bit better on this edge, but whatever. Nonetheless, it does the job. I basically cut, cut it in half and I'll pull my hand wraps out and I have my standard Mexican 180 inch hand wraps right here. And the way I wrap it is traditionally the way I've done it in the past, except I don't use the knuckle method for extra padding because this right here will add that. So what I do is I will wrap my hands with this. Just go around a couple of times, like I'm doing a traditional hand wrap. 
go around my thumb, go around the back of my hand. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a base layer before I put the gel padding on. So now I add that little base layer there. And from there, I can actually add the gel pad right on top and then just kind of go over it. If you have skinnier hands too, you can also trim the sides of the gel. That way it sits over your knuckles and you don't have excess gel hanging off the sides of your hand. It's completely up to you. You obviously know your body better than anybody else. So I'll wrap it in there just like I typically would wrap my hands. Kind of go around, go over my fingers. finger again go back up so essentially because of this gel padding you give yourself a lot more wrap to go around your wrist so you can use the wrap on other areas of your hands and your wrist to give yourself extra protection because now you have that quarter inch or even that half inch layer of gel around your knuckles so you don't have to dedicate as much hand wrap to your knuckles as you typically would so going around there and that's it. So basically I just wrap my hands like I normally would when I'm at the gym training. Um, but now I have that quarter inch layer of gel padding. The way I would describe the gel, how it feels when you make impact, it literally disperses all the energy. Now of all the products I've tried, the NG2s, um, even my Forger's Boxing Hammer, which are fantastic. As far as shock dispersion goes at the knuckle, these by far do the best job. Um, there is a little drawback to that. Um, I feel that there's a little bit of, uh, of a numbing feedback feeling from it. When you hit the bag with these and the gel makes impact, it literally absorbs all the impact. Uh, almost to the point where I, I feel that like I'm not making contact with the bag. I know I am, but it absorbs a shock so well that you feel that it just literally disperses all of the energy of the punch, which is great from a protection standpoint. Um, keep in mind when I was doing that, I was using the full length of the pad, so I was folding it over so I literally had a half inch of gel padding on top of my knuckle and again when I would hit that bag and I was using my Sabas Pro Series gloves when I would hit the bag it literally would just smack right into that bag and I wouldn't feel any shock whatsoever so for the purpose that it does of absorbing the shock it does a fantastic job um, the feedback could be a little bit better I'm not sure if there's there's any way to improve that just because the purpose of buying these is obviously to disperse shock and to pre prevent injuries, especially if you are coming into it with sore knuckles, if you've maybe had a, a, a um, hand injury in the past, especially over the knuckles, maybe you know your, your index knuckle or even your pinky knuckle, you have a bruise there and, and you want to get to the gym and you really want to hit the bag but you're afraid of re-injuring it or it's really sore and it hurts and you just can't hit the bag as hard as you'd like to, um, this gel pad will definitely help out with that so hope you guys enjoyed this review if you guys have any comments about this product make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box i'll put all the information regarding skull tech in the description box hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you guys next time thanks for watching